Hi, this is John with Flat 6 Motorsports. Just wanted to give a quick tutorial on how to data log with your Cobb access port. Now, we're here in a 981 Cayman, but this is applicable to any Porsche with the Cobb tuner. Um, so this is the main menu, as you can probably recognize. If it's your first time, I'm going to assume that you've already installed a tune. Um, <clears throat> to data log, you're going to go into Gauges. And so this menu is going to display gauges. Now, if you it's your first time, it's going to ask you how many monitors you want. I think it's like one through five you choose. Um, if you ever want to edit one of these monitors, you can just uh, use these arrow keys, kind of move up and down. You can select them and change the monitor. Now, what I want to show you is how to data log. So um, the first thing that's most important is what you're going to actually log. And so if you hit this up, Cobb has basically up, down, left and okay so if you hit this up button to where setup is highlighted in green hit the middle button that's the okay and then go to configure data log just click the middle button the okay button and this is going to show you all the parameters so uh, right now I think I have everything logged but if you click it it will go gray and that means it's not going to log that so uh, by default you're going to have a lot that are gray so if you want to log them just go ahead and click it once and it'll turn green that means it's going to log it um, so as you can see I have everything enabled <laughs> depending on what kind of space you have memory wise on your access port you might not want to enable everything now if you're doing one of our custom pro tunes we will send you what you need to log um, and that changes car by car obviously if it has turbos or not but um, it basically after you select everything you just hit this left arrow key the back button um, hit it twice maybe to get out of there and then now you're going to be in the gauges view so go ahead and follow the directions we send you to log but while you are logging so this is going to be helpful for anybody who's doing a custom tune or you know you're at the track and you want to log some parameters with the car running the car's not running now but with the car running you're going to have the same menu this um, will move around depending on what you're logging or sorry what you're showing on the monitor and then all you have to do to log is, you can see down here, press OK to start logging. So you just hit that middle button, and you'll see kind of like three little, um, kind of like a stoplight type deal that's just sitting there spinning. And that's going to let you know that the Kovacs supports logging. So it's going to log when you're done with, whether it's a wide open throttle pull or an idle, whatever you need to do, um, <clears throat> or the session you're recording on the track, all you do is click this again, and it's going to stop logging. So... We typically, for our custom tunes, we're going to need a third or a fourth gear, wide open throttle pull. Now this is a manual. If you're in an automatic or PDK, what we need you to do is probably put it in manual mode and roll on the throttle. So if this is the throttle, sit there and roll onto it's a wide open all the way to the floor. Um, if you just smash the throttle, sometimes the car is going to downshift and throw it you know, down at a second gear as an example. We typically needed about 2,800 RPMs to redline, uh, but we'll send you instructions on that. So that's really how you do it. After you're done logging, like I said, you know, you just click OK to start log, click OK to stop log, and then disconnect your Cobb access port and bring it to your computer, and we'll show you the next steps. Okay, so with the access port hooked up to your computer, what you're going to do is open the access port manager software. So you're going to have to download this from the Cobb website if you haven't already. The software will pull up, and depending on what the last view you're in, it's going to default to uh, either maps or data logs. And anyways, if you're whatever menu you're in, just go to data logs, and you're going to see the logs right here that you captured. Um, so if you want to download those, you can hit the control key to select multiple or shift to select, uh, you know, the first through all. And then click over here, save selected files to the computer. And then it'll ask you where you want to save them. You can throw them on your desktop. And then it's going to save them. So once you're done with that, you can eject your access port that disconnects the software. And then you're going to have these two logs here. Let's drag them over here so you can see. And then you're going to just take these files, attach them to an email, and send them to us.